Hello everyone, welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a folder through Flow. So let me give you a scenario, let me show you what how this works. So I have this onboarding list, I'm missing a T here, list, and I have an onboarding library. Let me... And what I want to do, so think of an, an a, a, a onboarding process. You know, so usually where I am right now, when somebody joins the, a team or a project, they have this onboarding process. So what happens is they go into a document library, they create the folder for that person, and then that person, once they're done with all of their onboarding tasks, sometimes they may have to submit documents or certificates of stuff they've completed, you know, information assurance or whatever. They have to put all those documents into a folder. And usually we have hundreds of people who are joining our a, a certain project. And if you can imagine how tedious it is to go in and create a folder for each individual. Um, and then also to break inheritance and, and all that stuff. That can be quite a pain sometimes. Just say te tedious. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how to create the folder just automatically uh, through Flow. I'm not going to show you how to break inheritance that'll be for another video so let's go ahead and get started so i just basically just opened up my flow and for those of you that are unfamiliar flow is basically just a platform to develop workflows and just like in sharepoint designer you're able to with flow you're able to convert a lot of manual just to make it into automated processes um you know why you know why would you do something manual if it can be done automatically you know why walk a document over to somebody or send an email to somebody when all that can be done for you just automatically so let me open up my onboarding flow here I'll just show you what's going on well let me show you how it works first so if I come in here oops where did I, did I lose it uh, so if I come into my list my onboarding Oh, I think I already did it. Did I do it already? Let me refresh the page. Okay, onboarding. So, so if I come in here. So I'm just going to enter in a name. Now this is my personal account, so I don't have too many. This is my personal Office 365. So I don't have too many names in here. So I'm just gonna say test. And I'm gonna say do that. Click save. And then I'm gonna go to my library. So let me do site contents. And then go to my library. Onboarding library. And as you can see, few seconds ago and the name that I had entered into my list the folder was created here so my list will be where they enter in you know what project they're going to be on uh, you can have a, a few more metadata there but I just did this for example sake now let me go back to my flow and let me open this up so you can see how I did this Okay, so I have this first panel here, and I put in my address, I put in the list, easy, easy enough, and then I use a variable, I don't have to use a variable, but I just used the variable, initialized variable, gave it user display name, and then I captured it here, and um, basically that, that comes from this dynamic content that you see here, so employee display name, so let me close that out, and then here is where all the magic happens. So create folder in library. I point to my SharePoint site. My method is post. And then here my URI, URI this part is important, underscore API web folders add. And then you put in the name of your document library where your folder is going to be created. Forward slash, and then I just put in my variable here. And as I mentioned, I didn't have to use a variable. I could have just did this. The dynamic content comes up and I can just 
added that in there like that, but I just chose to use a variable because I'll be using that variable in, in other places as well. Oops. So on board and make sure I don't Okay. Onboard in the library. You gotta make sure you spell it right. Alright. So So that is how you do it. Item gets triggered, I have a variable, dump it in here, post, right site. And if I come back here if I come back here to my site, let me just refresh real quick onboarding list and I already showed you how it worked but let me add one more item so another test and then if I say and you can have it done anyway I didn't have to use a, a, a people's in group you know it can be just a single line of text um, and you can be able to create a folder that way and click on the library and there is my folder created a few seconds ago and that's how you do it I hope this helped someone and I hope that made sense please leave your comments below um, any questions that you have um, and I'll be able to help out I I will in another video show you how to there's another way you can do it as well there's probably several ways to create a folder and I'll show you another way and then probably another video on how to break inheritance alright Thank you for watching. Bye.